All right, so there was an issue I pointed out on We Suck Less a while back um, about using trying to do color matching in an Aces CG workflow. Um, when Aces CG, well, all of Aces, moves the primaries, and so the relationship between your channels gets a little wonky. Um, so let's just assume right now that these two backgrounds represent Aces material. Um, this is my LUT. I'm going from Aces CG into sRGB. It's my screen. And I've got a color corrector that's on the right, and then my target color is on the left. So I usually start this by looking at the green channel, because that's where luminance is kept, and I uh, modify just the, the master gain to roughly match luminance. So now I've got a perfect match in the green channel. You can see I'm looking at green. Um, and so now I'm going to go over and adjust red. So here's my red channel. And I'm going to just adjust that, bring it down so that these two, I can't see any difference between them. Now, I matched green, I've matched red, and I'm going to match blue. Blue is pretty close. So let's just bring that down. Can't see any difference. And now I'm going to look at my colors. And I think well, that's odd, they don't match. So let's go back in and we'll look at the red again. And we see, okay, red's fine. Green was the first one I matched. Oh, well, that's different now. So now I gotta come in here and adjust my green. And now I look at blue. And it's fine, and I just like at the very last second, I noticed Green is still not perfect. Yeah, I can't tell the difference now. All right. So now I look at them and they are matching. Uh, I can still see a little bit of difference. Um, it's subtle, but I'll bet it's in red. Yep. So now I got to come over here and slightly adjust my red again. And now, normally, if you're, if you're doing this kind of color matching, once you get a channel right, it stays put. But that doesn't happen in ACES um, because of those, those moved primaries. And we can see that if I make a gamut, and I put this in ACES, and I put this in sRGB, that these points are not only you know, expanded, but they're, they're slightly off-center. Um, so you can see these these lines that represent the the vector to the the primary color are not parallel, and that's the problem. Uh, so my proposed solution was to keep a uh, another LUT on hand and just go from uh, instead of going from ACES to sRGB, just go no change, just a linear to sRGB. And now if I do this color correction, I'm just going to go ahead and reset all, all changes. And then look at my split again. All right, so now if I, I do the same thing, okay, green already matches. Red, there we go. Match my red, match my blue. This is really sluggish and it's driving me nuts. It's probably OBS interfering, competing for resources. And now I look at them and I'll have a a perfect match because my channels don't slide around relative to one another when I change one. And so that has been the struggle that we've been trying to overcome. And the supervisor doesn't like this idea of temporarily looking at something that isn't the color that you're, that the client is going to see, um, even though technically it makes it possible to do this. Uh, I guess he would rather just have someone go around the, the carousel, you know, five or six times adjusting channels rather than just doing this this temporary change just while doing color matching. It doesn't happen at any other time. Um, anyway, I will share this comp at We Suck Less also um, in that thread. So you can play around with it and experiment and see if you experience the same frustrations and problems as I do.